In this demonstration, I'd like to explain how global variables work. A global variable is typically defined at the beginning of a program, but you could define it down here. You want to define it outside of any function because its scope is global. You can see it from any function so long as you tell each function that it's using that global variable. So you just declare it up here at the top. I have total equals zero. And then I'm in my main method. And I'm going to call function one, function two, function three. And so I'm using main to organize everything. And I have my global total. And then I'm going to print the total is plus total. So once I've declared it as global inside my function, I can just use the word total here. So the logic will go, I call function 1. Since I'm declaring global, global total, I'm referring to this variable, this spot in memory. They're all referring to the same variable. So I'm going to add 100 to it. Then I call function 2. Again, I've declared the global total. Total plus equals 200. My total should now be 300. When I would go to function 3, it should take my total to 600 because they're all adding to this original spot in memory named total. Then when I run this, I should see a total of 600. There we go. So global variables are used instead of passing variables when you want to point at one place in memory and make changes to it from any other function.